So with the siren sounds and the scream sounds that are actually quite often used in modern trailers, I know that the main thing about them is there is some pitch modulation going on, they are heavily distorted and they are band passed. So that's pretty much what I'm going to start with. We can leave oscillator 1 as it is and we're gonna use LFO 1 to pretty much modulate everything. So the thing that I'm gonna start with is the pitch. We can go to our matrix, map LFO 1 once again to our global voice transpose. Maybe set the amount to roughly one octave. We can always change this later so let's just choose this setting for now. We could draw in the shape so it's gonna be a rising shape but maybe with a slope we can start with this and adjust later. Also set this to envelope mode for now. So now it sounds like this. I would like a second oscillator, activate this one and use this for some more width. So detune this a bit and maybe even detune them against each other slightly. Just to get some more movement and maybe change this one to a sine wave. And now as I said before, this type of sound is usually heavily band pass. Let's use filter 1 here and enable the band pass. And we can also use LFO 1 to move the band pass around a bit. Maybe like this. Actually also go to the master envelope here and increase the attack time a bit. So we have a smoother start. And now we can go to our effects section. One of the most important effects here is distortion. Put the drive at 100%, use hard clip. And this time we are not gonna modulate the drive, we are gonna modulate the mix. So now it sounds like this. So again, that's pretty harsh. Let's use a filter and just get rid of the highs and we can also modulate this. But we're gonna use an additional EQ in front of this filter and kind of emulate a bandpass filter here. So let's just activate the high pass and the low pass and sort of boost the mid band here. And I want this to move around a bit, so again, we are using LFO1 on the cutoff. Maybe increase the resonance of our low pass filter here. Use some compression at the end, just to clean things up a bit. Now obviously you can always play around with the LFO 1 shape here and with the different filter settings here. But in general that's kind of the gist of the sound. Once we start with the post-processing we kind of really get where we want to be. First I'm going to add some more compression. Let's just use default multiband compression here. Again one of the most important parts is more distortion. So I'm going to use the saturator here and use it at a kind of a really extreme setting. But because this is going to boost everything up again, I'm going to use an EQ after this and sort of imitate a bandpass filter again. And if you tend to get too much artifacts here, usually the solution is to dial back with the unison. So currently it sounds like this. And if you want to clean this up, you can reduce this to two voices. Now it's a lot cleaner. So also maybe put a limiter at the end. Now if you want to make a siren sound out of this, you can use this flanger here. That's one way to do it. And just set the feedback to 100% and then you will get this kind of sound. But if you want to do it in a more controlled way, you can just use the envelope here. Maybe set it to something like this and set it to trigger mode and try it at this tempo. That's how you get kind of the siren sound. And if you want a more scream type sound that is very usable for trailer tracks, then you're going to go for the envelope mode here and just play around with the envelope shape and increase the frequency. And depending on your filter settings here, because it's at the end of the chain, you can control how aggressive you want the sound to be. So with our current EQ setting, it sounds like this. Of course, we can add some reverb at the end. 